coach Keith Sunzel and Sierra Royster after a big win against Northern Kentucky. Uh, coach, talk about the, the big win tonight. Yeah, the you know the the fight of this group just continues to amaze me. Um, we've been really uh, pretty injury prone the last couple weeks, and so it's been a real up and down last week or so of training, but. Uh, this group, you know, we talked about, hey, no matter what's happened, we're 1-0, and, and and tonight's a chance to go 2-0 and in conference, and, and we finally had a chance to close the team out in the fourth set, and we did it. Um, and, and a lot of the credit to Sierra, but a lot of our players stepped up tonight, and it was great. Uh, Sierra, you, uh, this is your first game back after a little while. Uh, would you say you're rusty tonight? <laughs> Honestly, I felt rusty, but I guess that didn't really show it. <laughs> Question? Can you eat Sierra? How, how, how does it feel to be back out on the court after some time off? It feels amazing. I've, it's, it's a feeling that you can't really describe. Just being out there with people that you love and love to play with and compete with, it's, it's rejuvenating, it's refreshing, it's, it's fun. <laughs> Coach, what was it like having Sierra back out? You know, she she just she brings a different um, energy about her. Her she has a terminating arm. She she blocks balls at the net. It's she's an impact player, and it's uh, when when she's not on the court, when she's not available, we we our team notices it. And when she is on the court, you see what she did tonight. And so it's uh, it's important that when we can get her on the court, and and boy, she she makes a big difference. Were there any moments that stood out to you in the course of the match? Uh, there were there were a few moments. Um, I think the end of the fourth set was was something that we've kind of been harping on with the team. Is when we get a chance to close teams out, we we got to do it. Um, and there was a couple really big digs. Tory Hopkins had a couple big late in the match. Marcinek had a couple big kills late in the match. Um, you know, and that's and that's what it takes in in a in a good league against a good team. It takes making opportunities and then and then turning points out of it. And we did that tonight. And uh, you said earlier in the season one of your, your areas of focus was the team improving its blocking. Uh, how do you feel the team did today with five blocks? You know, more, more so than the number of stuff blocks we had, I felt like we were on a lot of things that they did. This team runs a, a pretty uh, different middle system. They set their middles in kind of weird ways, um, and we were on that most of the match. It kind of drifted late, but I think overall we had a pretty good blocking night. And uh, Kelly Marcinic uh, coming off a tied a school record uh, with kills last match. Uh, how, it, how does it feel to have a player such as Kelly Marcinic night in, night out, continue to produce that? The, the, the thing that makes Kelly special, and, and C has a, a, a piece of this too, is that there's something about players like that that they absolutely hate to lose, and there's just this edge and this chip on them that it separates them from other people. And, and Kelly's not the best athlete on our team. Um, I'm not even sure she hits the ball the hardest on our team. She just has, there's something about her that when it, when it gets to that point of the game or when, we, when she knows we need a kill, she just turns it up another level. Um, and, and similar to Sierra, you know, they're, it's, hard to, it's hard to find players like that. It's hard to know that you're getting players when you recruit people, but, but Kelly and C are two that are definitely like that. Good. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Congrats on the Good job, C. Thanks, Mitch.